Hello, welcome to this tutorial of MIT App Inventor. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial we will learn how to make a bill calculator app. So it's going to be like this. There will be a list and then they need to select a food item in a restaurant. So this is going to be for a restaurant. You can make for anything you want. So there will be some food items like cake, chocolate and ice cream and many more so they need to select for example if they select cake it will get added to their bill list and then after they finished adding everything they need to click on calculate total amount then it will say the total amount of the bill it will add all the things and it will show it there so now let's start making it so first I am going to make this list with is going to be fill parent. The background color is going to be this one and the text color is going to be black. Yes, so now I am going to add a list picker. So the elements from string is going to be chocolate. Ice cream. Make sure you are putting comma for every item. And three. So in this tutorial, I am just going to do this three. You can add how much ever you want in this. So let's rename this list picker. So it's going to be add food item. So if they click this, they'll, this list will appear and they need to click an item in the list and then that item will get added here. So now let's go to the blocks. We also need a label to show the total amount. So this font size, font should be bold and the font size is going to be 25 like this. And then I need a button called calculate. Or you can also remove this button and every time we add it will automatically show the total amount we can also do like that but i'm just going to do like this button now let's go to the blocks we need a variable called food items and this is going to be empty list when we initialize and then when the add button is clicked I mean the list picker, not after picking, after they pick an item from this, from chocolate, ice cream and cake, after they pick it, we need to add what they have picked. So for that, we are going to do add items to list. The list is going to be get food items and then the item is going to be list picker one dot selection. So here we can see list picker one dot selection. So we can add this item when they click when after they pick, and then we need to show it in this list view one. We are going to do set list view one dot elements to get global food items. Now they will be able to add and they will be able to see it. Now to calculate the total amount, before that we are not going to add only the item. We need to add two things. One is going to be the item and then the other is going to be the money for that particular item. So after they have picked that, we are going to put an if condition. So if so 
So now we don't need this if condition. We are going to join. We don't need to join at all because in the list picker we will put the money. So here let's put chocolate hyphen the money. So I'm going to put 20 ice cream and put hyphen and I'll put 30 and then for cake I'll put hyphen and put 50. So you can put the currency you want like dollars and then rupees so you can put it here. Now the thing which we need to do is that we need to add the items. After we add it, when they click on the button 1 which is the calculate button, we are going to calculate the total. So now we are going to initialize a new variable called money. So this is going to be 0 at the beginning. And when they click the calculate button, it will be zero at the first. Then we are going to loop through the list. So for that, we need this one for each item in list. The list is going to be the global food items list. It will see every item and then it will split the item using an hyphen. And then after it split, it will get two items one is going to be the chocolate and the second item will be the 20 or the money so we need index 2 to calculate the total rupees so for each item in this list we are going to set money to get money plus one plus one i'm sorry it's not going to be plus one the number of rupees for that particular food item so how how can we get the number of rupees we need to use the split function so first we split the text the text is going to be the item so in the item there will be here you can see in one item there is the name of the food item and even the money which should be spent so we need only the money so we are going to split this which means cut this and then get the second which is the money so split text that it's going to be hyphen And then we need to select list item. The list is going to be this list. So this will give a list of two items. And then the index is going to be two. So there is some problem if we put this item. It is because we can only put this item inside this for loop. So we were going to put it here. Yes. So the index is going to be two. Now it will get the index of the item, then it will add it with the global money. After that, after it does everything, then we need to set label one dot text. So here you can see set label one dot text. The text is going to be get global money. Not only the global money, we are going to join two things. The first, which is going to be total amount. And then let's put something like this and a space. Now let us test our app and see if it is working. You can see our bill calculator app. I'm going to add a food item. It's, it shows MIT AI to companion because I'm testing using that app. After you build this app, you will see the name of the app here when we are using list pickers. So now I'm going to select, we have only added three items. We can even see the name and then the 
amount of money so i need ice cream you can see that it is added again i'll add cake and then i'll add another cake i need two cakes so now i'm going to click on calculate it shows the total amount as 130 so 50 plus 50 is 100 and 100 plus 30 is 130 so it is working so now i'm going to add chocolate calculate it shows 150 because 50 plus 50 is 100 and 130 and then this is 150 so the total amount is 150 instead of putting this two times we can also add something like quantity a text box and then it will calculate on automatic so you can also do that so thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe to this channel like and share this video